Welcome back to the Jones Zone, guys. Today we're going to be getting into the 1,000 year reign because there are some people who don't think that Christians will be reigning with Christ on earth, um, despite the fact that we have scripture to support this. According to a Windy Day 8598, there is no New Testament teaching about Jesus ruling on earth for a thousand years after he comes. We look for a new heaven and an earth, not some made up 1,000 years back on this earth. On this earth is not in Revelation 20, nor anywhere. A thousand is never used literally in Scripture. Okay, so let's take a look at Revelation chapter 20, verse 1 through 6. Then I saw an angel coming down from heaven, having the key to the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. He laid hold of the dragon, that serpent of old, who is the devil and Satan, and bound him for a thousand years. And he cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up, and set a seal on him, so that he should deceive the nations no more, till the thousand years were finished. But after these things he must be released for a little while. 4. And I saw thrones, and they sat on them, and judge, and judgment was committed to them. Then I saw the souls of those who had been beheaded for their witness to Jesus, and for the word of God, who had not worshipped the beast or his image, and had not received his mark on their foreheads or on their hands. And they lived and reigned with Christ for a thousand years. But the rest of the dead did not live again until the thousand years were finished. This is the first resurrection. Blessed and holy is he who is a part in the first resurrection. Over such the second death has no power. But they shall be priests of God and of Christ and shall reign with him a thousand years. Okay, so no. A thousand years on earth is not exactly stated. But the Bible has a habit of alluding to things without specifically stating them. An example of this would be the fall of Satan and his angels. The Bible never explicitly tells you, you know, what Satan did and when he was cast out of heaven. But by reading various scriptures, we know this is what happened. Okay, so here are the scriptures that allude to the millennial reign being on earth. Now, when that thousand years have expired, Satan will be released from his prison and will go out to deceive the nations which are in the four corners of the earth, Gog and Magog, to gather them together to battle, whose number is as the sand of the sea. Now, why would Satan be released after a thousand years to deceive nations on the earth? Gee, I don't know, maybe because he'll be planning to do some bad things to people living on the earth at that time. We look at nine now. They went up on the breadth of the earth and surrounded the camp of the saints and the beloved city. You see that? It says the saints. Now why are the saints in this beloved city? Hmm. Huh. I wonder. It's because they've been reigning there with Christ for a thousand years. Now I'm not sure if Lord Jesus is going to be here living in the flesh as he did before, or if he'll be ever more present in spirit than he is now. But, um... Anyways, let's continue. It says, And fire came down from God out of heaven and devoured them. So, when Satan is loosed, he'll attack the city where the saints have reigned with Christ for a thousand years on earth, that beloved city. Okay, and after that, there will be a new heaven and a new earth. But first, the old earth is destroyed. Death and Hades will deliver up their dead. So, death, which is a spirit, will deliver up his dead. And Hades which is what we call hell and the sea, will deliver up their dead or the souls that are in them and they will be cast into the lake of fire. These souls will then go off to be judged at the white throne judgment. Whoever's name is not written in the Lamb's book of life will be cast into the lake of fire for eternity. Those whose names are in the book of life will then be resurrected in the last day to live with the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Okay, guys, that's all I have for you today, and uh, do stay blessed.